the original aim with making the, the sculptures in particular was to set something of a brief that I would make one for every day. Maybe that one's, you know, maybe it's better like that. The first pieces I was making, I did have my tool bag and it became quickly, the decision was like, okay, let's have nothing. It'll pop out without any. I think it looked better before. Making work in this environment, you're trying to think, well, what are the properties or the literal materials that are already here? You never know, I might need that one. The sort of natural, the decaying things of this site are way more interesting than, than I could try and compete with. I mean, it's not often that a piece of wood gets screwed on and it's not straight and it's half sticking out. So the, you know, the only place we usually encounter that kind of um, wrong use of materials is in art. I'm walking around the site thinking about things happening like this and pictures like this, thinking, well, how do I make artwork that dovetails with this and can look as like free and energetic as this? It's maybe a sculpture, it could just be something turned upside down. Of course, I could have just sat it there and it'd be a light and it'd be a ready-made. The ready-made can only exist with the gallery. It needs the psychological power of the white walls. Here, the object still needs some alteration to let it become art. I've done pieces before with paint pots drying. There's all this paint downstairs. Of course, there's staircases everywhere. So the pot is literally just opened at the top of the stairs and tipped out. But I didn't really know how much it would come down the steps, where we'd go down the back wall, whether it would all just blob in one spot there. You've actually got this perfect spill. But what, what I'm still in the process of observing, this piece is now about six weeks to two months old. It's still not sealed. So it's still not ready for the public to walk on. There's a childlike quality to it in just that, you know, someone else will clear up at some point. So it's like the, the play den. Whatever I do over the six months, a parental figure is going to come in and put those toys back in the box. I can just keep playing. If making the work is boring, how do you expect someone to come to it and not be bored? I think fun is underestimated. The sculpture is a sketch because a sketch is, is thinking while making. The idea is this is a studio and exhibition all as one thing. The aim of the residency of the, the production over this period of time was to get out of a comfort zone and just and try and open up yeah, the opportunity for new materials or new methods for making. Putting yourself somewhere to make work where you don't normally should only be a positive thing. I, or definitely how I work, I need that.